Okay, ladies and gentlemen, interesting setups on the field. Let's uh, let the commentators handle it from here. All right, hello everyone. This is Kill Two. I'm here with Darius Johnson, and we have the first match after the break on day three of Alliance Tournament Eight. We're looking at Space Police versus the Godfathers. Space Police on your left have brought two Harbingers, three Hurricanes, two Brudex, and three Dramiel. And, and this is Darius Johnson. Johnson. You're gonna have to call it. All right. So on the right for uh, the Godfathers, we have a Balgorn, which is not a flagship, in case anyone's wondering, and then two Abaddons. Uh, Abaddon's, I'm going to say Abaddon the rest of the match, sorry if that bothers anybody. And Absolution, Guardian, Curse, and Coercer. So uh, I think both these teams kind of feeling like all they need to do is score some points. That's probably going to be a theme for a lot of today. So um, Space Police being real smart, switching from their missile heavy setup from last week, this real heavy battlecruiser setup this week, um, just to make sure they get points. You know, they got to take something down, and these really high DPS battlecruiser setups are a good way to do that. Um, match is underway now. Uh, we'll have to see what happens uh, tar for target calling. It's going to be um, kind of important. The hurricane, first hurricane for Space Police going down really rapidly, but the Guardian for uh, Godfather's warps to zero along with the rest of the Godfather ships. So he's under fire right away and going down really, really quickly. Um, the rest of the Godfather's team was warped kind of, uh, or sorry, the Space Police team was warped at mixed ranges, and there goes uh, Hurricane and that Guardian at the same time, which is a really good exchange for the Space Police. Uh, so the rest of these uh, Godfather ships probably going to have a pretty hard time. They were depending on that logistics ship. Looks like they're going to shoot the Absolution next, which is a pretty interesting choice, um, considering it's probably got maybe the most substantial tank on the team. They want to take out those gang links, I'm sure, which is pretty smart. Um, give me one sec. The Curse? Yeah, Curse still close. I like the Curse for... Uh, the next target myself, but I suppose the battlecruisers aren't getting punished too badly. There goes the second hurricane. So now only five uh, battlecruisers left for Space Police, which is not good. Second one, or third, third one taking a lot of damage already as this Absolution finally getting pretty low and uh, starting to go into structure. Um, but yeah, the uh, Absolution, kind of a weird target call. I mean, um, you take out the Lincoln, they just took out uh, Whatever their frig was, I don't remember, sorry. <laughs> Went down immediately, like in one volley. And this uh, last hurricane now going down as well. So it's going to be uh, four battlecruisers now on the Space Police side, uh, along with some Dramiels versus uh, still three battleships, command ship, and a curse. That curse needs to go down really fast um, right after this Absolution gets finished off. It doesn't look to me uh, like the curse is running tracking disruptors, but it's hard to tell. Uh, and if it was, it would only be able to put it on one of those targets. Man, Brudix going down so fast. Um, the Absolution, on the other hand, stopped damage slowing down. He does have heavy armor maintenance bots on him, uh, coming from the Balgorn, I guess, and, and the Abaddons. And they might not be able to finish him off as that second, uh, or that Brudix goes down. Once this, this last Brudix is down, I don't think they're going to be able to finish the Absolution. I still think that's a, a really weird call. They went for him, going for points, too, more points than the Curse, but... There goes that last Brudix. So two Harbs and three Dramiels now is all they got. And uh, they're still getting a little damage in on that Abso, but he's pulling it back from the, the Rep Drones from these Abaddons. So uh, Godfather is getting exactly what they wanted, uh, bringing this um, close-range battleship fit right in with a bunch of battlecruisers. It's like perfect for them. They might have had a hard time against a, a longer-range team or a missile-based team. It's hard for me to move around the arena when I, I'm by myself here, but I'm looking at the Abaddons, and they, they are definitely pulse fit, so this was just perfect for them. Um, the only issue would have been if they had enough tracking disruption going on the battlecruisers on the Space Police side to keep uh, the Abaddons from being able to hit, but it didn't look like that was the case. Is now uh, Harbinger goes down, and the last one will be uh, following really quickly, leaving only some Jeremiels, and they'll have the option of um, either running around the arena for the next 10 minutes or... Uh, trying to continue to do some damage, but really there's there's no chance of that. And like this curse, uh, you know, even with just the little DPS that was remaining for Space Police, still took uh, three quarters armor damage, and maybe if they would have started earlier, uh, they could have brought that down. But at, at this point, it's obviously um, a done deal. They're going to bring these Jamiels down. It looks like Jamiels not going to waste too much time. We'll see if they change their mind about that. But um, I do like both setups for what they need to do. You know, we, the way the tournament system's set up, they get... All the teams we're going to see for the next seven matches pretty much got the full 125 points possible in round one. And uh, I think the stat we heard earlier in the day was that last year it took about uh, 
140 or something to get through, 160 maybe. So these teams just trying to get on the board. And that's it. So awesome job, Godfathers. And I'll go back to Soundwave. Thank you very much, Kill2. That was a really convincing win. You can certainly tell that these are the top-tier teams. Both the setups actually really, really good. But we'll talk uh, more about the setups and especially the FCing, which I think is, is one of the relevant topics from this, from this uh, match. We're going to be back at 1840 with the Wrong Alliance versus Alexis Matari. That's in about 15 minutes, so stay here and we'll be back. There's plenty of more action to come.